our Black History Spotlight shines on Mary Jackson, Katherine Johnson, and Dorothy Vaughn, the real woman who inspired the book and movie Hidden Figures. Mary Jackson worked as a human computer with the all-black station of NASA. She was involved with wind tunnels and flight experiments. Her job was to extract relevant data from flight tests, making them more efficient. She also tried to help other women advance in their careers by advising them on what educational opportunities to pursue. She retired from NASA in 1985. Katherine Johnson was a brilliant human computer whose math equations were used in lectures around the U.S. Johnson did flight analysis for Mercury, Freedom, and Apollo missions. Astronauts specifically asked for Johnson to double check equations to make sure they were safe. Johnson retired from NASA in 1986. In 2015, at age of 97, she received the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the highest civilian honor in the United States. Dorothy Vaughn joined NASA in 1943 as a data processor. The law required that she and her black colleagues work separately from white female computers and the supervisors were white. Vaughn became the first black NASA supervisor in 1949. She made sure that her employees received promotions or pay raises if merited. Segregation ended in 1958, at which point NASA created an analysis and computation division. Vaughn was an expert programmer in Fortran, a prominent computer language of the day. She also contributed to a satellite launching rocket called Scout. She retired from NASA in 1971. These remarkable black women made NASA's early space missions possible. Today, we celebrate their intelligence, expertise, and resilience. Join us on Wednesday for a screening of the movie Hidden Figures in the auditorium during power. Make sure to tune in next week for another Black History Spotlight with Trojan News Network. Hello and happy Valentine's Day. My name is Mackenzie Coates and welcome to TNN. For our Black History Month celebration and activities, we will host daily trivia questions in the morning. We will also host one activity a week, which will be held every Wednesday during power. Also, each Monday, we will have a student on TNN highlighting a prominent African-American figure who helped shape America. On Wednesday, February 16th, we will be showing hidden figures. It will also be Music Appreciation Day. We are asking teachers and students to wear a shirt supporting their favorite African-American artist. Hidden Figures is the story of a team of female African-American mathematicians who served a vital role in NASA during the early years of the U.S. space program. The FFA is selling tickets to their alumni reverse raffle. If you would like to support them by purchasing a $50 ticket, you will get a meal for two and a chance to win some cash. Please see one of your FFA advisors or speak to one of your favorite FFA members and they can help you. Hi, I'm McKenna Mathis and this is the Week of Kindness. Please celebrate with FCCLA. They are asking that students and staff participate in the following. Today, wear red and be kind. Tomorrow, wear blue and encourage others. Wednesday, wear orange and accept everyone. Thursday, wear green and love yourself. And Friday, we're yellow and be happy. Here is our joke of the day by Miss Cole. <laughs> Here's your math joke of the day. Why is the math book so sad? Because it has so many problems. <laughs> the Winter Sports Award Ceremony is February 23rd at 6.30. Spring tryouts begin today, and they will last three days. The spring sports parent meeting is February 17th at 6 o'clock. Our lunch for today will be a meat eater's pizza, savory sweet potato fries, and an applesauce cup. Tomorrow's lunch will be a hot dog, potato wedges, and a fruit cocktail. Our weather for today will be sunny with a high of 46 and a low of 28. Thanks for watching TNN, and have a great day.